Hey guys, in today's video I'd like to show you an older grow bed, one of my oldest in fact, eight years old, and how I have to change it out um, from an existing um, three bed aquaponics system because of the UV light that's damaged that grow bed. So I need to pull it out, I need to replace it and uh, put it back into the same position. And I'll show you how I do that um, using a lid instead of a base and some of the little technical tricks that I've come up with to help me in that process. Hopefully I can help you too. Just wanna show you what the place looks like after I've cleaned out all the old tomatoes and the old grow beds. I've taken out so much rubbish. There's quite a few weeds growing from the developers next door. That's why I originally put the shade cloth up to stop the weed seed. It's my original greenhouse. Uh, as you can see, I've got still got all sorts of rubbish in the grow beds that I have to get out. Um, but I just wanted to also point out too, the cracks. Now this IBC in particular is quite a few, I think this is about eight years old, so I'm not surprised at all that it's cracked. But because I hadn't cleaned it out in such a long time, I never knew the cracks were here. I knew that um, I was losing quite a bit of water. And the sump tank just keeps emptying on me all the time. But I just thought it put it down to evaporation. But um, most definitely found a few little problem areas. I need to, I need to completely change this, this bed. And I will. I just want to also show you how many ants are in here. These little black ants have taken a liking. All right, so we've just removed all the gravel, gravel out of the system. As you can see, these cracks are quite big at the back here. And that's what happens when you use very old uh, IBC tanks. So these tanks were probably five years old when I, when I first got them. And I think I've had these sitting here for at least eight years already. So. They have been exposed in the sun in the elements in far north Queensland and that's just created a bit of uh, cracking here in the back so that's not good for our system water's been leaking out of there I've known about it for a little bit for probably a few months now so I actually stopped using this so right now we're doing some maintenance cleaned out the gravel and we're going to replace this grow bed So this is good anyway for the system because we're cleaning out the sediments that have been trapped in the bottom anyway for years. So it doesn't hurt every few years to, to do this. Wait. Dice out. All right, so I've now chopped out our grow bed and look it's got a bit of damage on it so I'm real happy and real pleased with the process as you can see here so it was a disaster it was going to break anyway and um, so we've cleaned that out we've removed that and now I've taken out the, the uh, upstand and I've taken out the bulkhead fitting and I'm going to reuse that there's no sense whatsoever I'm not reusing it, might as well reuse it. So I've cut another another tank, it's all ready to go, and we'll just reuse this one. Okay, just wanted to um, just show you the difference between the two, the two tubs here. The one that we've just replaced, that was a bottom, as opposed to the other one, which you can see it's got some small little grooves in the top there, because that's the top of the IBC. Now, when I go to use the top to replace a bottom, we do have a bit, little bit of a, a drama there that we need to, need to fix, and that is the grooves. You can see it's slightly, it's about a centimetre and a half, or about an inch um, difference there. So what we're going to have to do is use some scrap timber. Uh, this is off my deck, and um, it's just some off-cuttings. I suggest everybody keep all the off-cuts for every project that you do. And in this case, what I'm going to do is run it the length so I'll run it the whole length here and I'll take another one 
and that that thickness that thickness there it just means that the water will sit the base of the the plastic will hit this and the water's not going to cause any cracks underneath so and then I'll, I'll put another piece like so and I'll just fill the gaps like so so essentially I'm filling the gaps and it'll just just create a flat surface underneath you'll never notice it just means that it won't crack later on um, so that's a good tip and hopefully you can you can uh, use that because you don't want to get in a situation where you don't use the top of your tank when you that's the only piece left that I have right now so I need to use the top and that's the only way you can get around it okay so I just um, just wanted to highlight something here this is actually a top the top of one of our IBCs now the one that it's replacing was a bottom so there's a couple of things to worry about here on the IBC tank there's a plastic loop which I've I've cut that out because it's going to impact what I'm about to show you and I've also, there's also a little tiny piece of plastic there so I've just got a hammer and a chisel and I've chiseled that out on both sides the reason I did that is because we've got a, a little indent here and what we have to do because we're going to fill this up with water and gravel is somehow fill that gap so this is a piece of old decking uh, still pretty new actually it's solid it's not going to rot it's a leftover from my my uh, veranda deck and another point keep all leftover bits of timber you never know when you're going to need them so uh, what i'm going to do is put that place one there place the second one like so uh, just grab it here like so and then these little bits that i've cut to size will just bridge the uh, distance in between so i'll do that and that will 100% support um, the top and that's how you do it all right so now just need to measure exactly uh, where the timber should go um, i'm going to estimate here but uh, measure so i'm going to estimate it about there we can always move it around in a second i know that that timber needs to needs to be in the middle i know my lid will fit in that hole there and that one i just want to put at the front to make it look a bit nicer and also I won't allow any gravel so to get in there so it doesn't have to be perfect this is actually underneath but try and get it as accurate as possible and the way to do that is I'll lift this over all right so that goes in like so and it's pretty jolly close actually I was a couple of centimeters out just tuck that under something blocking it I'll have a look it's actually all good so it sits down perfectly flat there's no cracks there's no problem the only thing is we haven't painted this one later on I'll paint this that's not a problem we can do it afterwards we've got our upstand in here we've replaced it from the other one we've checked this, that the lid is not leaking I've re siliconed the lid just a little bit in the middle and um, yeah now we'll fill it up with water and gravel IBCs are really great. They're versatile, they're really lightweight. You can, you can put them into any position you like. Uh, it's just that if you don't paint them adequately when you first put them in, you've only got, let's say, five to eight years in my experience. Uh, lots of things can happen and it's better to just be on the front foot, paint them right at the start so you can avoid some of these issues later on. Hey, I really appreciate you watching and I'd like to know what you thought of this video so feel free to write in the chat box below and if you're new to this channel and you'd like to know more then hit that subscribe button and if you wouldn't mind give me a good old thumbs up so I know I'm on the right track and just to also let you know too that I do have a private Facebook group and I go in there live every week and I answer questions from the chat as well so feel free to join that as well and I'll put it in the, in the comment section below.